All right, so if I update here on the 29th, obviously not what we wanted to see from our earnings down 10.5%. Uh, earnings were good and they raised guidance. Um, I haven't listened to the conference call, so I can't speak on that, but um, everything looked good and the stock gets killed. I think it's just from short-term options, people buying too many call options, too many people buying shares, hoping to get rich. And this is what happens. This is the result right here. So um, not good, but a good spot to average down. I bought some more in the low sevens right around here. They're just giving you a golden opportunity to buy at seven. And it's funny, nobody wants to buy now because they just think it's going to keep on going down. It always bounces back. It always gives you a chance to sell. So, and we're also, we also hit the man too, by the way. So what is this now? What is this? I think at this point, this is a falling wedge. That's my number one pattern I see now. Um, it had a chance to be an impulse there, but it uh, ended obviously with this move down. So a falling wedge is just basically falling down lower and lower prices. What's interesting about this right here is we hit on January 19th, we hit about 720. On March 19th, we hit 680-ish. So what's two months from March 19th is around May 19th or May 17th is OPEX. So we could be looking at something around May 20th or May 17th around 640. That's kind of my target right there. So this whole thing is A, B, C, D, and E. That. As long as it holds this 640 or 639 back to November, um, then we should see another move higher. The minimum target on that move higher would be the top of this right here. As long as it holds 640, it would be at 1053. And that would probably happen by August. The last video that I did, I talked about 14 bucks, and that is still definitely in play because we'd be actually ending right around the same area. It's kind of making the same pattern still. Um, we're right here. And it's just finishing off this right here. I was a little bit early. And you look at the dates, they match up perfectly. Look at this. May 1st, gap down, come up, come down right around May 15th. We're literally in the exact same spot. So when this bottoms, I would expect about two and a half months to get higher. And another thing that's kind of crazy about this chart is this was August, this was August, and May 17th, two and a half months is going to be August again. Um, so August of 2024 would have us at... 16 bucks. So if this pattern plays out, we're looking at it like uh, this is just ABC. And then this is a falling wedge B and C up here into August. So it's playing out actually. I was I jumped the gun a little bit in the last video. I was thinking that earnings would probably take us there, but you can see right here, this was the exact same date, basically. April 28th, straight down. April 29th, straight down. So I still think there's a very good possibility the video on Friday I did is going to happen. But you're going to have to wait probably for another couple of weeks to see some upside on this. It's probably going to do an ABC move down like this. And then you're going to start seeing, you should see this after that. The minimum target, again, is the top of this, 1053. There's always the possibility, if this pattern doesn't work out, that you're looking at it like this as well. This would be my secondary pattern. And then this would just be A, B, C, like that, for the B wave. And then you get an impulse down here, probably to 6 bucks. So, everything's still good. It's on track. I jumped the gun a little bit in the last video, but as I showed you, we're like on the exact same spot. We're literally right here. So um, expect a little bit more downside over the next couple of weeks. 
potentially into 650. We are in a demand zone though, so I probably wouldn't wait to buy if you're going to buy more. I'd probably just average into it. And we'll see what happens. But I think after May 17th, you're going to have <clears throat> all the people that were trying to get short-term gain. Their options are going to expire. They're never going to do that again. Um, and then we can start running. When all the short-term people get out, we can start moving higher. And as you can see here, this took from May 15th to June 14th, it went up. It went up 150%. So you could be looking at a move that takes us to 14 in a month after May 17th. I'm not going to say it's for sure, but I'm just saying the pattern is showing um, what's going on. So that's pretty much it in this video. Uh, let me know what you think about earnings. Do you think this is going to play out how I showed it? Um, impulse, falling wedge, and another impulse higher, probably to 14 to 16 bucks. People are losing hope, and that's kind of what I want to see, to be honest. Um, I want people to lose hope that are long. Not because I want them to lose money, but I want the stock sentiment to be in the right spot for them to spike it higher. So the people that actually hold through that get rewarded <clears throat> instead of this. So that's it for now. Leave me a comment. Like, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, I'll keep you updated the rest of the week. I would look for a bounce... Probably the rest of the week, I would think. Maybe they bounce it back up here to 750, 740, 750. I haven't really looked at the smaller time frames, though, so I don't know where we're at. It looks to me... Like uh, the bounce may have already started. This might have just been one move down here. And we're starting a B-wave bounce. That could last... You know, another week or two. We could just be doing something like this. This is what I'm expecting. Something like that. I don't know about filling the gap yet. I think we're probably going to come up here, maybe 750, and then probably come down. Because for our target is 640. We might not even go that high. We might just come up here to like 730. It might just be a long chop. So anyway, that's it for me. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe. I'll keep you updated the rest of the week. And uh, average down if you get a chance.